ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اما بعد respected viewers today we are going to learn a beautiful hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam this hadith is about managing our time looking after our time safeguarding our time and not wasting our time so let's look into the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam hadith comes as an ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma says qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam has said igtanim khamsan qabla khamsin take benefit take advantage of five things before five things fall upon before five other things come and take over right let's look into what are those five things he says shababaka qabla haramik number one is your youth your young age your strength of the body of the mind of the memory of the brain all those when you were youth you got all of those and he says qabla haramik before your old age so take advantage of your young age before your old age why because when you are young you can do a lot of ibadah you can utilize your time you can get best of this world and you can achieve the best of hereafter by utilizing your time qabla haramik which is haramik means old age once it's up on you you won't be able to do much many of the good deeds you won't be able to go to the masjid regularly you won't be able to pray regularly you won't be able to pray properly how prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have prayed because of illnesses so that's number one number two was sihataka qabla saqamik that your good health before illness today you are in good health you can do many different activities by a time might come you might feel pain when you're going to sit when you're going to get up when you're going to do something yet you might feel uneasy so before that day come today you have you are able and you are capable you are healthy you do whatever you want to do achieve the jannah and achieve the best of this world as well that was number 2 number 3 wa ghina'aka qabla faqrik yeah take advantage of your wealth before poverty comes upon you today you have money you have business you have wealth whatever amount of wealth you have you have by a day might come you might not have any of those in your hand and then you might have to go to holding hang uh, holding something on your hand and going door to door and asking people to help you so before that day come today take advantage of your wealth and with the wealth also achieve the jannah by the jannah so right, this is the hadith and then wa firaqa qabla shughlik This is the main part of the hadith. Fafiraqa qabla shughlik and your free time before the busy days. Today you are free. You can do all your essays. You can do all your mock tests. You can sit down, you can learn all your work. You can sit down and think all of those. You can do extra prayers, extra recitation, extra learning, extra enjoying all of those. You so utilize your time. This is a free time utilize it before busy days comes because one of the time you will be so busy you will not find time to do everything and you will go mad eventually you will say i have no time like we see in the exam days children going mad they want to revise this revise that and too many subjects they take together in front of them and they go crazy literally yeah and that wouldn't happen if you utilize your time properly in the in the classrooms so we are wherever we are whatever position we are we have to utilize our time properly so when the busy days come we also enjoy right this is what professor sam said firaqa qabla shughlik utilize your free time firaqa qabla shughlik before the busy days and the last message of the hadith is hayataka qabla mautik i'm sure you all understanding the haya means and maut means hayat means life zindagi the hayat we have at the moment the life we have before death 
So utilize our life. We should utilize our life before death comes to us. Why? Because once the day, day, that day death will come to us, that's it, we will not be able to pray anymore. We will not be able to go to the masjid anymore. We will not be able to recite Quran anymore. We will not be able to give sadaqah, charity, hajj, zakat, anything anymore. Because as soon as Azrael comes, angel of death comes, he will knock on the door and that's it, that's the end of everything. So before that comes, you got the life left remaining. So utilize your life properly. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to understand. I will reiterate these five things. Number one, shababaka qabla haramik, your youth before old age. Number two, sihataka qabla saqamik, your health before illness. Number three, ghinaaka qabla faqrik, your richness, your business, your wealth before poverty. And then number four, firaqaka qabla shughlik, your free time before busy days. And number five is Hayataka Qabla Mautik, your life before death comes. So let's utilize these five things. If we utilize these five things, we will utilize our time properly and we will be, be able to get benefit, most of the benefit with this time. And we will enjoy this life and we will enjoy hereafter. Often we make dua to Allah knowing, we say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaba nar wa Allah give us the best of this earth and best of hereafter. And how would Allah give best of this earth and best of hereafter if only we follow the Quran and Sunnah and these hadith and the advices of Prophet and the advices of Allah, then we will have the best of this earth. And if we keep making dua but we don't follow the Quran and Sunnah, then our dua we don't make any difference because we are not following in real life. So let's follow the hadith and may let's make dua that may Allah give us the best of this life and give us the best of hereafter and make us the people of Jannah to fit Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen. Please share this hadith with everyone. Share this message to everyone so everyone can learn and benefit from this hadith. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.